here with Michael Capone. Uh, I'm a big fan. I'm kind of girling out here. I'm a big fan of his. Time Force is literally my favorite Power Rangers series. Had the best theme song. Had pretty much one of the best stories in it. Thank How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you got invited out to this event here at Imperial Valley Comic Con, and how are you enjoying it so far? Uh, I like it. I like small shows like this too. I get to get more connected with my fan base. It's a little more intimate uh, setting than like a big show. Right. So yeah, it's real, real fun. I yeah, like it. very very fun, and it's it's very an honor to meet you. And um, I'm, <laughs> thank you. As we all know, you were the Blue Time Force Ranger, and uh, what was it like? You know, coming in, auditioning. What was your prior history of knowledge of? Power Rangers before going in there? So I, I was a fan first, so I drew pictures of uh, a lot of things, mainly X-Men characters. Uh, I was a big Marvel fan, and then I actually drew a picture of the Power Rangers for my brother when I was about 13. Uh, so I posted on my story a few, about a few months ago, and then I became a Power Ranger, which was really crazy. Yeah. So Now maybe people can say that. No, no, no. Not, that's what I'm saying. Like to actually draw a picture of a you know, some sort of content and then become a Power Ranger, that was pretty crazy. You do martial arts as well. So uh, how much, I've actually, this is my question of mine, how much of the suit is you, like, in the suit? Not much at no. all. Like, I mean, I hardly any because time constraints happen. So where second unit is always a stunt double in our suit and we're always in the first unit shooting the fight scenes or whatever out, outside of the suit. Right, because, you know, we always see, I always saw your face. I'm like, that's him. So I was wondering, is that him in the suit? Yeah. But yeah, did uh, you still keep up with the martial arts? Uh, not so much anymore. Just more like uh, for cardio purposes, I box and stuff, kickbox and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I stopped doing martial arts after I got into football. So I played oh. football kind of like the, similar to the Rock story where I had a, a very extensive football career and I turned down a full ride scholarship to go to L.A. and start doing the acting thing. Oh wow, that's that's really impressive. Now you were telling me beforehand that people don't even hardly recognize you as a Power Ranger. They recognize you for That's So Raven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd say 90% of the people on the streets recognize me as That's So Raven or Bring It On. Uh, and then the next thing would be One Tree Hill. Mm -hmm. And then it would be Power Rangers and then like Scorpion King yeah. and stuff like that. I still haven't seen Scorpion King. I gotta watch it now because you're in it and oh, I'm interviewing you. Uh, you said it's on Netflix, right? Yep, yep, yeah. I played the I played like the young version of The Rock. So I always say I'm like the pebble. Uh, <laughs> if you that's smell that's what the pebble is cooking. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. You get the eyebrow raise and everything. Jabroni, jabroni. <laughs> do, you, do you keep in touch with The Rock? No, no, no. I wish I did. I, no. like, I like The Rock a lot. He's, no. he's really cool. Did you get to meet him on set or anything? Or give you, did he give you any preps for uh, the no, show? I, got, I met him at Casa Vega and had, had, had some talks with him over there. Okay. Uh, some Mexican place over in, uh, in, the, in the valley. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, so, um, as you know, there's Power Rangers episodes. I don't know if you remember, there was an episode. One of your one of your Time Force Rangers was in it, Forever Red, yep. where all the Red Rangers got together. Yeah, of course, my buddy uh, Jason Font. Yeah. yeah. And all the Red Rangers got together. Would you totally be down for an all Blue Ranger episode? Yeah, you know, I'm kind of like trying to make that. Me and Blake are trying to make that Forever Blue episode happen. Like, we haven't had anything like that yet. Can I suggest a title? Yeah, what is it called? Always Blue. Ooh, always blue. I like that. I like that. You guys are creative. Thank you. I'm the creative. Oh, he's my buddy. My art. My, I'm the face and like creative thinker. He's the artist. Okay, cool. But he created the shirts for Split Thought. Split and Thought. Um, yeah, thank you for loving the shirts. We actually gave you a shirt. Yeah, I know. And, uh, I have the so so I have a really good Split Thought story. <laughs> so so uh, so I always tell people I turned down my full ride scholarship and went to LA, slept in my '82 pit pickup truck. Uh, my first audition was for Power Rangers and got the role. So that was actually. My first split thought, you know, I turned down a full ride, went to LA, first acting audition, and got Power Rangers. Thought this was easy. No, four years later, 1,482 auditions hearing the word no, uh, until I got my One Tree Hill audition. That changed my career. Um, I had an opportunity to go to China to model for $80,000. And the day I was supposed to leave, I had an audition for One Tree Hill pop up from my manager. And I had to make a decision to turn down the 80 grand for an audition that had no guarantee to it, that um, that that I actually got the role and in and in two weeks made the money back that I would have lost at the the China gig. So um, that was my first split, that my biggest split thought moment. That's that's an incredible story, man. You really went all out. You you risked it all for this one gig, and, and it all paid off for you. It did. It did. It did. And uh, that was the that was the show that people started recognizing me as Michael Copon for the first time out in the streets and stuff. So as, as some people know, uh, you're a big you're a big guy to the fans. You love your fans. You're always out on social media talking to them. Hey, come out to the con. Yeah. Um, you know what's what's it like? You know when people tell you you're my favorite ranger. You know you made part of my childhood. You know. I think it's cool because you know a lot of people have 
added to my life, you know, athletes and different celebrities and like for, for me to be that to a certain group of people, I think that's really cool. So I always honor that, honor that moment, yeah. That's cool, man. And well, one one other thing, you keep in touch with your uh, fellow Time Force Rangers, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you guys like kick it sometimes, or do you guys, you know, ever guys like, hey, you guys remember this one time on set? Me and uh, Jason Font uh, hung out Super Bowl. Really? Which was the most boring Super Bowl, but disappointing <laughs> halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, come on, do something. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was wondering what was going. Adam Levine was very, very girly this this time around. It was like, <laughs> I'm at the summer. <laughs> test, 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 I was like, okay. Okay. Yeah, Were like, you also expecting Spongebob um, no, Sweet Victory? Uh, no? Yeah. You weren't that one of those people? Nope. No, okay. um, but yeah, dude, you're, you're a really cool guy. We've been talking to you for a bit. Thanks, man. Uh, I have one more question for you, man. Um, so you you would be totally down for uh, Always Blue. Has like, Yeah, that's I like title. that. Um, uh, has it, have any other Blue Rangers talked to you, come up to you, and told you I'm down for the project? Yeah, well, yeah. So, I mean, we us Blue Rangers always talk about that. I think it'd be cool to, to get it going, and uh, I think if the producers made it happen, uh, you know, if the Red Rangers have always been the icon, uh, you know, leader, Blue's always been right there. So, I mean, I always say Michael Jordan wouldn't be who he is without Scottie Pippen. Right. And, uh, Space Jam. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, the Blue Rangers have always been that Scottie Pippen to the show. You know, we've, we've been, um, we've been uh, right there as a secondary leader. We're always got some unique twist to our character, but we've stayed constant. Yeah. You know, we've always had a blue range. There's always a red and there's always a blue. True. Very true. Uh, well, I, I have two more questions. Sorry. Um, who's your favorite ranger personally? Uh, my favorite ranger is uh, Jason Font. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. He's my he's my brother. Uh, like he's literally the guy that taught me um, just pretty much how to maintain yourself as an actor in L.A. I was I was 17 right off the boat. Wow. And uh, he was a little older than me. He was like 26 at the time. And he was just a big brother to me, really. So, awesome. so to, the, to this day, we're still friends. And then my, my second favorite Ranger is uh, possibly Blake. Yeah, he's like one of my, he's, he's another guy that I've always hung out with throughout the uh, years. And then, um, you know, and then, but in terms of fan, when I was growing up, it was JDF all the way. Oh, everyone's yeah. fan. Green, white, or red? Yeah, uh, I was actually a fan of the green first and then the white Ranger. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Very dope. But, you know, green was first, you know. Very, very true. Dragon Zord uh -huh. all the way. Um, and just final question before I let you go, yeah. man. Um, so, as you've seen that Jason David Frank is on YouTube with Bat in the Sun and stuff. You saw that, right? Yeah, of course. He's, like, doing this YouTube series where Power Rangers collabs with Street Fighter and all that. Yeah, of course. Dude, like, would you, like, I, it seems that Rangers have found this other platform besides TV, yeah. which is YouTube. Would you be down for something like that, you know? Because, you know, YouTube's the yeah. next platform. It's basically the next TV, you know? I'm doing some stuff with, yeah, Bat in the Sun and, and JDF and all of them eventually. Yeah, I am. All right. Oh, I can't wait to see that, man. It was really nice talking to you, man. Big fan of the show. And, uh, you know, you know, Time Force all the way, man. Always. Take care. Thank you. Time Force. Time Force.